Hi, in this video you will learn how to encrypt webmail messages using PGP. You will need a PGP key, Google Chrome as your browser, and a Google Chrome extension called Mailvelope. On this computer I'm using Windows, so for Windows you need a program called GPG for Win. So go ahead and click download. I'm going to skip the beta and go to a stable release. Save that to my desktop and give it a few seconds while the file downloads. Once the file is downloaded, let's install. I'm going to create a desktop shortcut and install. Great. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to check off the box that allows me to skip the configuration and I'm going to uncheck the box prompting me to uh, read a file. So now um, GPG for Win is installed and a component of that is Cleopatra. So I'm going to go into all programs and fire up Cleopatra. And with Cleopatra open, what you need to do next is click File and New Certificate. Under Choose Certificate Format, you want to click Create a Personal Open PGP Key Pair. Enter the required fields. and hit next and create key. You'll be prompted to enter a passphrase so select a secure one and you'll be prompted to re-enter it. Great! The key pair was successfully created and now what you want to do is make a backup of the key pair. Check off the box that says ASCII Armor and select a destination to where you want to put this file. I'm going to choose my desktop, give this a name, and hit save. And OK. Great, the secret key successfully exported. Now, it's generally best practice to also create what is called a revocation certificate. So that's what we'll create now. Now, to create the revocation certificate, you need to use Windows Command Prompt. So let's just bring that up very quickly. And we'll need to use the key ID along with a command. I'm going to copy this, go into Windows Command Prompt, and enter it. It asks, do you want to create this revocation certificate? Say yes. Select a reason. I'm going to say no reason specified. And I'm just going to call this a backup. And. Um, is this OK? Simply hit Yes and Enter. You'll be prompted to enter your passphrase, so go ahead and enter that in again. And if you don't do anything, this revoke certificate will be saved in your home directory. OK, so let's 
So I'm going into the home directory and there it is. So I'm going to rename this and we need to save this in a safe place. So just in case something happens to your private key, you would publish your revoke certificate so the people that you're exchanging private messages with, they'll know uh, not to use your old key. Alright, so we can close all of these other programs out. Next, let's go into Google Chrome and look for an extension called Mailvelope and add to Chrome. And when you add Mailvelope to Chrome, what you'll want to do is go down into Mailvelope and go into the options. And the private key that you just created, let's import that in. So I saved mine on the desktop. I'm going to copy this here paste it into the import keys and hit submit. And if I go into display keys, I see the the key over here. Now if you want to exchange a private message with someone else, you need to give them your public key. So the way you would do that is you would select your ID and click export and click display public key pair or display public key sorry you would create a file download that to your desktop and close now this public key is something that you can publish on your website or even email it to the person that you want to exchange an, uh, an encrypted message with On the same token, you need to have the other users or the other person that you want to exchange your encrypted message with, you need to have their public key as well so that um, you can exchange messages. So I'm going to quickly import um, a public key that I created for myself on another email address. I'm going to go into import. click import another and submit when I go into display keys I see my outlook outlook it's got two keys meaning I have one private and one public and for the person that I'm exchanging an email with I only have their public key great so now let's send a message so let me go into outlook let me uh, reload the the browser and let me compose a message and I'm not going to enter my message in in here what I'm going to do is look for a little icon on the right and hit the pencil this should bring up a, a compose window uh, you can enter your private message here like say you want to exchange a password or um, I don't know share some sensitive information and now what you want to do is click the lock icon and here I'm going to select the address that I want to send this encrypted message to and I'm also going to include myself in this so that I can read the encrypted message uh, in my sent items I'm going to click, oh, click OK and there's the encrypted message and I'm gonna hit transfer that puts the encrypted message in here and I'm gonna hit send Oh, and add a subject secret and send and close let me go into Gmail and refresh. 
and over in Gmail I just received the message so I'm gonna head I'm gonna open this and this is the recipient of your message so the recipient only sees um, sort of encrypted text um, and they need to be able to decrypt the message now to see what you sent and Mailvelope automatically recognizes this as a PGP message and you get sort of an overlay uh, with an envelope with a lock so all you need to do is simply click that enter your passphrase and hit OK and you get to see the the private message and uh, that's how you encrypt webmail messages using PGP